What's going on there folks? Uh, good day out there. It is uh, Earthmaster here checking in on this Monday, June 21st, 2021, about 11.15 my time here in California. Uh, latest quake on the globe is going to be a 2.6 up here around the Wyoming area. And what's going on up there in Wyoming? Actually quite a bit of earthquake activity at Yellowstone National Park. We'll go ahead and check that out real quick. This here is the latest overview. Go ahead and refresh this just to show you guys. Latest overview of the seismograph stations there at Yellowstone National Park shows a significant earthquake swarm taking place. Um, just to the, no well, right around the northwest edge of the caldera, right around Mary Lake, Purple Mountain area. You can also see it showing up on numerous other stations around the region. But I think the epicenter of these earthquakes roughly uh, Right around the station here called Purple Mountain. Quite the swarming kicking off, folks. It's been kind of odd because every update that I've been doing over the past few weeks, I've talked about how super quiet Yellowstone National Park has been. Today, that's not the case. So I want to watch this pretty closely. Um, just within this region here, there's a handful. I mean, I'm talking probably just looking at some of these, these spikes here. And the background ones, probably upwards of 50 earthquakes or so, uh, possibly more, that are taking place um, at Yellowstone National Park. Now, these are not big ones, but man, they are definitely popping off like popcorn. Let's go ahead and check out the USGS map here of the all magnitudes. And you can see, uh, yeah, th thanks USGS for definitely lift listing those. I know there's more than 18. But at least they are listing them, right? Uh, so far, the largest quake looks to be a 2.6. But that one's way down south of the swarming. Um, so within the swarming area, we're looking at about 2.4s or so. The depth of these earthquakes, roughly, you know, they're kind of variable. Kind of jumping up and down a little bit. There's one that's almost 10 kilometers. It's something to watch here pretty closely, folks. Uh, like I say, it's been a significant amount of time since we've seen a, uh, a good-sized earthquake swarm. Could this be a start of one? It looks like it. Um, how long it will continue? Who knows? Um, I'm hoping it will continue for quite some time because it's kind of interesting to watch uh, the activity that takes place there at Yellowstone uh, when we get some swarming going on, like we're kind of like what we're seeing today. Um, so once again, a pretty good sized earthquake swarm taking place in Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming, just on the northwest corner here, northwest edge of the caldera, which is the caldera is this black line that kind of runs around like this. Um, massive volcano, super volcano that is. Um, it is showing up on some of the other seismograph stations, but of course distance and sensitivity um, defines on how well that signature will show up and it's kind of kind of spotty but if you start getting these earthquakes around the 3.0 range you'll see that show up on all of these stations um, significantly so we'll just have to keep an eye on it and see exactly um, what becomes of this swarm last hour of earthquake activity in the red um, 2.4 and then a uh, what else was there 1.5 see those right there kind of kind of got to watch these depths right here kind of odd to see uh, I shouldn't say odd it does happen some of these may not even be reviewed yet by seismologists uh, well it is Monday right maybe uh, everyone had lots of sleep over the weekend and they're on the on the ball kind of looks like it status has been reviewed uh, of course mentioning Yellowstone swarms do happen they're not rare, um, but it seems like it's been a while since we've had a pretty good sized swarm at Yellowstone National Park. We'll continue to monitor this. I do have a couple station, well, at least one station there around Canyon uh, in Yellowstone National Park that's picking up some of the activity on the live Earthquake 3D stream. Uh, a little bit of further movement down here along the Kermadec Trench, another six pointer striking inland a little bit in well i should say inside the underneath the trench area 27 kilometers below the surface for that 6.0 that struck earlier 
and uh, also some activity up here. Well, we'd seen that last night at 5.4. Also a little swarm of movement across the uh, North American continent once again from Texas all the way over towards the New Madrid fault system. Uh, just gonna kind of watch this. North America looks to be uh, on a little on the squeezing side. Looks like they're getting some good hugging going on from both sides of the uh, of the plate boundaries. So just be on guard. We'll do a, a full update video later this evening. Um, just wanted to kick off the uh, mentioning of the swarming of activity there at Yellowstone National Park. Puerto Rico, let's see here. That's Puerto Rico Station kind of showing some activity as well. Looks like kind of looks a little odd that may be some type of interference but we'll keep an eye on that the uh, Yellowstone station that I have pulled up uh, is called Canyon Yellowstone Wyoming that's gonna be the station right after Petrolia station there let's see a little bit of earthquake activity popping up registering on the live seismograph I'm gonna see if I can find a station a little bit closer um, to that area here in, uh, or at least to the uh, swarming area here in a little bit. Uh, but for now, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there. It's um, another hot day. And uh, man, I wish it would cool down, but I think we got a couple months of this at least here in California before we get a cool down. All right, folks, stay safe out there. Be prepared. And uh, we'll chat you guys later tonight with the update video.